Okay, so what we've done is the leaves have dried, and this is a couple of days later, and we've um, dusted all the, the excess glitter off, and we've created some little things that we're grateful for on a piece of paper and cut them out using a little cute um, scissors mm -hmm. to make a nice pattern. And then we just simply taped it to the back of each of the leaves. And now we're going to make a garland out of it and hang it up on our wall. So next step is to hole punch each part, um, top of each leaf, and then we'll string them all together on a piece of string. Okay, so I'm gonna have my four-year-old now um, make a dot on the top, pull, hole punch it. So go ahead and put your instrument here. Hold on. Okay, so what we've come to realize is that the, the real leaves um, do make hole punches really easily. However, the vinyl leaves don't. So we ended up having to take the scissors and make a little hole to make our garland. Okay, now we're going to measure out how much of the garland we want. So she's holding it for me. And I'm going to cut it right about, hold still, hold still, right about here. Yeah. All right. And we're going to just simply string our leaves through the string. So, so this is go. good also for, you know, fine motor skills, pushing the string through, stringing beads. Well, this is stringing leaves. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give her more. Da -da. Okay, here's more. Get a okay. Push the string through it. Good. Okay, there's some more leaves. Get the rest. Yes, babe! Now this is the real leaf that you got outside. Yes. Yeah. Easy you have to be gentle with that one. Why not gentle with the other ones? Okay, so we've got all of the leaves on as as uh, my daughter strung them on. Yeah. And so they're kind of bunched up at the bottom. Now all we need to do is basically I've tied a uh, I've tied a knot on I've tied a knot on one end of the string and well actually on both ends and now we're just going to scoot them apart a little at a time. Okay, so now as she's holding it, I'm just going to scoot each leaf so that they are a little bit apart from each other, a couple of inches apart, just space them out. And we have a leaf garland that we can hang up on our wall. Yeah. And each leaf says what we're thankful for. And they're glittery, they're beautiful. So that's just an idea for a project you can do for Thanksgiving, for November, fall leaves, and thankfulness.